my name is Yi and let me ask you a simple question before I start. Are you happy? Yes. Well, I can say that I am really happy to see you guys all here today now. But to be honest, this feeling doesn't last for too long for my entire life. And a small reminder for you guys that I'm a Gen Z who also known as the Zoomer and born in 2007. And for my entire 16 years of existence, hearing that Gen Z is the happiness generation. But it is true. Why do the older people keep talking to us like that? Before answering those questions, let's find out what happiness really is. Uh, according to the Oxford Dictionary, they define happiness as the stage of feeling or showing pleasure. So there are tons of definitions out there on the internet and it's hard to insist which one is true. But there is one similar thing about all of this definition is that you, it is not necessary to be a billionaire to be happy, rather you should decide what kind of shape your life is going to take. Take myself as an example, I describe happiness is just like a little sunshine in my own life. So I was wondering, by grouping every life who born from the 1997 to the 2012 into just the happiness generation, it's kind of strange. For some people, the older generation such as the baby bloomer who was born from the 1946 to the 1964 or the millennials who was born from the 1981 to the 1996 are spread out the most. According to a poll by the American Psychological Association, APA, they said that the millennials are the most anxious of all ages as these generations have to suffer from the modern technology from the overprotective parents and from the fear of failure. So they believe that Gen Z who's born with peace, with technology and with the higher education is more comfortable than others. And so they expect us not to lament about our life and not to be unsuccessful. Well, in some circumstances, it might sound true, but this cannot imply all the time that we are straight free and full of happiness. I believe that every generation has to face with certain challenges. As recession also affects the generation Z who born after the millennials. While the millennials they born at the new era of technology reform, we then they, we born uh, at the height of innovations. So we are extremely frigidity from the peer pressure, from the oversupply of labor, and from the the technology replacement. And moreover, I believe that generation is not a factor or a standard of happiness, but we need to define it by ourselves. I know that it's hard and sometimes I obsess with the feeling that I would be left out or replaced someday if I didn't have like outstanding qualifications or remarkable achievements like others. But whenever I look back on what I have gone through, I find happiness in such little things. And let me ask you, how many of you guys here have seen water? Can you raise your hand? Well, I guess everyone has seen water asleep one time in their life. And water is a liquid that can easily form or shape into anything. So if you put water in a rectangular shape, it will be in that shape. And when you put it with lemon and sugar, you then will have a delicious lemonade. So happiness is like water. It can easily form or shape. You just need to go with anything because it is your life. Happiness is in your life. If you want to put it in a cup, it will be in that cup. And fortunately, most uh, Gen D and other generations are successfully turned this fear of disappointing someone into the motivations of finding their own happiness. We might not be the happiness one, but I am confident to claim that we have lucky things in our life. Thanks to the groundbreaking advance in our society these days, 
that given not only Gen Z but also other generations more power than before. Once taking advantage on this trend, we are going to navigate our boat out there to the vast ocean to become a true trailblazer in our own way. And after all of this, I want to show you something. I think everyone here has known the three primary colors. Oh. Which are red, yellow, and blue, right? So, let's make some green together. It is real? Absolutely no. So, let me try again. And ta-da! I made it! <laughs> so, what I want to tell you about is that nothing is the right solution from the start. You need to try and then try, and even if you fail, you can start it over and over again. I believe that this is the sequence of life, and happiness is like a journey and not a result. Because maybe somebody will call this as a self-discovery, but even if it's a self-discovery, we still need each other in our life. Because no one can walk alone in their journey. We still need each other, because we are human. We are the social animal, which means that we need each other. We learn from them, we fail from them, and to be successful with them. I believe that this is the great paradox of being a human, to become a better version day by day. And I strongly believe that everyone has been a pioneer since the day they set their foot on the earth. So you just need to be yourself, because you have the chances to be coming on a trailblazer to find their own happiness in your journey of life. So be generous with your life, live your life, and then help people live with your ethical value. Sell your boat and be proud of yourself. Thank you.